Just picked up the Mobius 65 Chevy 2 Gazer. Let's open it up and see what's inside. My buddy Dave picked up this kit, and he said it's a really nice kit. He says, I need to get it. So, what the heck? Plus, a lot of you guys said that uh, I need to get this kit, too, and, and build it and show it on the channel. So, here we go. So far, the box art's pretty cool, and, and it's a Mobius, so you know it's going to be a nice one. But uh, Dave also, who is pretty much done building this model, and I'll show you some of his build pictures, said it's a great kit to build. And as we open the box, there's what you get inside. And the body looks wonderful. I was really amazed at how well this body looks. Very clean. Really no flash at all. The proportions look right. Very, very nice. Um, just super nice. I was very, very surprised. The body alone, I think, sells this kit. As you can see, just just looks wonderful. Really fits the part. Chrome's looking good. And as I look through the kit, it looks like we're going to have some extra parts. Some extra engine parts. Those valve covers are really nice. That air cleaner's cool. Bumpers look great. Chrome's beautiful. The glass is really nice. I didn't pull the glass out. But I'll show you Dave's model. There's his glass in. He said the glass went in great. The glass is thin, clear, beautiful. And what's in this bag here? Looks like some engine parts. There's transmission. More engine parts. Yeah, we're going to have some extra engine parts. The engine, engine fits the part too. Dave's engine looked great when he was done. Chassis pan, that looks very nice. Underneath has great detail. Love that detail on this. And here's Dave's. There, there's what it looks like build underneath. Very nice. Fits the part. I like it. There's Dave putting his together. Hey, Dave. He's a good guy. He's fun to build with. Nice hood hinges. I love those hood hinges. But so far, everything's looking really nice. Door panels look nice. They're crisp. They're clean. There's Dave's model. Hood looks great. I love that opening on the hood. Um, so with uh, part of the engine sticking out of the hood, there's your opening. It's already done for you. Very nice. Underneath of the hood looks great. Detail on the firewall. There, that looks really nice. There's your detail on the firewall. There's Dave's model again. Tires look really nice. There's a close-up of them. And I like the tires. They represent the part very well. Again, this, this kit looks really nice put together. You can see, you know, Dave's model that I'm showing you. This chrome tree is really nice. The wheels are beautiful. Love these wheels. Those are great looking. The grill is very nice. A little black wash on that grill. It'll come to life. Some more engine parts. There's a close-up of the engine. Done. Just very nice. I want to thank Dave for uh, letting me shoot some pictures of his model to show you guys. Here's some trees of, uh, looks like some more, um, got the seats. The seats, them racing seats are really neat. They got some neat texture to them. They look really nice. The headers are really nice. The headers go together. Those headers look wonderful put together. Roll cage, front end piece. Looks like some more engine parts, rear end, steering wheel. Very nice. So far, very impressed about the kit. Some more chassis parts, roll cage parts. 
There's what's really neat. The, uh, the header tips, they're opened up, so you don't have to drill them open, which is really cool. It's always a pain drilling them things open, trying to get the hole centered, but here it's already done. Looks like some nice ladder bars. Leaf springs, traction bars. Very nice. The instructions. Instructions are okay. Uh, Dave said the only part of the instructions that were a little funky was the glass. It makes it look like the glass goes in on the outside where it actually goes in from the inside. That's the only thing that he said that was a little weird about the instructions. Other than that, the instructions were great and they look good. Gives you some color call outs. Looking nice. Here's the decals. This was the only part I was disappointed in on the kit for a gasser. And that's it. The top part of the decals are nice. The bottom part, the gas attack, Chevy too hot. Eh, I don't know. Everyone I've talked to and heard from, they, they aren't using those. They aren't impressed with that. Other than that, this kit's beautiful. Very nice. There's a nice close-up of the body again. And here's some stills of all the trees. And there's going to be some still pics of uh, Dave's Model 2 completed. I don't know. Let me know down below what you think about those decals. Are you going to use the uh, decals as a gasser or are you going to use your own? I kind of put a little survey out about I'm wanting to build this box stock and box stock does that mean that i have to use those decals or can i use different decals that's that's kind of a coin flip there it's been about 50 50 now on what people say some people say box stock only what's in the box only decals and everything other people say that box stock you can add different decals it doesn't matter let me know down below what you think I'm, i want to know what you have to say because i'm going to probably build this box stock I haven't built a box stock model in a long time. There's the stills on the uh, instructions. And here's some stills of Dave's model going together. There it is completed. He did a good job on it. Good job, Dave. That looks nice. Yeah, I know he had fun building it and he highly recommends it. Like he said, he goes, Tim, you got to get one of these. They're cool. All right, got to love a nice gasser. Hey, we'll see you guys on the next video on Throttle Power.